Livy, is it snowing out? Yeah. You got snow in your hair. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh. Good morning, modern steaders. It's snowing out again this morning, guys. Good thing the bus is here. Mm -hmm. Love you. Yeah. You don't gonna get too much snow on you. See you tonight. 32 degrees out in snow flurries. When is spring gonna come to northern New Hampshire? That's what I would like to know. We've had winter since mid-November. It's time for the weather to break. Hot chicken. You want the weather to break too. I know. I know. We all want the weather to break. The only one who doesn't know any better is Tanner. He was born in the winter. Huh, this is all you know for weather. I think Mother Nature keeps forgetting to send spring weather up to northern New Hampshire. It's time to send it. We need a good steady week of warm sunny weather to dry out this muddy mess. <laughs> I was gonna switch it up first and let Hope out, but I think we're better off getting the ladies situated with their feed before we let Hope out. Yeah, you wanna come out? I know, we're ready. We gotta feed the girls first. Yeah. We're gonna jump on next, there you go. You girls behave. Hey, I just said behave there, Buttercup. I'm gonna go do all the other chores. Hope's like, I'm gonna get right in here, get with the other girls, show them I'm boss. Willow, uh, be nice. I'm gonna go take care of the chickens. I'll come back out and check on Hope on the way back through. This is pretty, it's pretty windy out today, so I don't know how long they'll all stay out for. I'm hoping Hope will come back out. She went in the barn and the other girls are out at the feeder, so we'll see. Keep coming out. Come on. Let's go out, Pluto. I am loving that we're using the rainwater collection system again to water the chickens in New York City. I don't think the water's gonna be frozen because all the puddles aren't frozen yet. So hopefully we're good there. What are you girls up to? You coming out, Moose? Where are you hiding? There you are. You coming out? He's like, no, it's too cold. I'll put the feed down where they haven't scratched through all the grass yet. They're doing a really good job at dethatching. The water's a little slushy, but that'll do. Let's go check on Hope. Look at your furs blowing all over the place in the wind. Look at that. A little windy, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. I don't like leaving you all alone in there. I don't know what you're up to. All right, Hope, we're gonna put you back in the back room. I don't trust these two. Should I? 
Should I trust them? Come on, if you're gonna come, we'll put you in. You want some chaff hay? You staying out or you coming in? Nope. You gonna come in, Hope, or you wanna stay out? Do you wanna stay out? All right. I'll come check on you in a little bit. You girls behave yourselves. I'll leave you out, Hope. <sighs> I don't like doing that. I know she can get under the milk stand, she can get on the bunk, under the bunk, she can get outside. So she'll be good, she's smart, she's quick, she can get away from the girls if she needs to. Just gotta remind ourselves that and we'll check on her. I'll be editing and I'll be watching through that window and then I'll come back out every once in a while and keep an eye on her. We had to get the fire going again. The hand that holds the camera gets cold pretty fast. Ah, feels good being in the house by the wood stove. Now I know for you guys, it seems like we were just at the goat barn. It's been about an hour now. Let's check on Hope and see how they're doing. They're all inside the barn. I've been keeping an eye on them. They've been coming in and out, but now they've been in the barn for a good 15, 20 minutes. You goats all behaving. I see Buttercup Blossom. I hear Hope. What are you doing, Hope? You look like you're surviving. You girls all doing good, huh? I like seeing this. All right. You're eating your hay, you're drinking your water. Sounds good. I'll leave you be. <laughs> They're like, hey, you're disturbing us. Would you leave us alone? I'm glad to see they're all getting along better now. We'll keep weaning them little by little in that back milking parlor that Hope's been staying in. That's where Willow will be with her babies when she has the kids. So we gotta make sure we can get Hope accepted by Buttercup and Blossom before Willow has her babies. I was hoping my new Weedman Reap sweatshirt would bring some of that Arizona weather up here. It's not working though, guys. The other day when we were at Lowe's getting all the fittings we need to plumb up our rain barrel, I got a bulkhead fitting right here. It's a three-piece fitting, I guess you'd call it. It's left-handed threads, so we gotta tighten it to loosen it up. Take it apart. We have a rubber washer that's gonna stay on the inside. Then we got a plastic washer. I'm gonna put this one on the outside of the barrel. And then a nut. And this is threaded on the inside. So we're gonna thread in a piece of our PVC pipe. Be able to have our little bit of pipe section coming off. Then I'm gonna put a shut off. Oh, we'll get all, we'll get to that part later. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We gotta get the bulkhead fitting in our 55 gallon drum. So first we need to find, first we need a few things to do that. I just told myself, it's left handed threads. Oh, it's backwards, it's hard to remember that. Well, an inch and a half will be perfect. Oh, that was inch and a quarter. That's this one. This is inch and a quarter. Yeah, inch and a quarter is going to be too tight. So we're going to want to go inch and a half. Going to need a nut for a weight. That one will work. We're also going to need some rope.
I want to drill a hole for our bulkhead fitting lined up with one of the top holes. And there's a nice seam all the way down. I don't want to go all the way down to the bottom because there is a contour in the barrel and some of the barrels on the bottom side, they have a lip too. So I'm going to go up about two and a half inches. I think there's going to be water in there. Yep. I'll let that drain. The next part's when we're going to need the nut. Drop it right down in. All right. I see it. There we go. I had to tip the barrel a little bit to get it to lean towards us. Take my nut off. Oops, going the wrong way again. <laughs> And my washer, I'm gonna leave the rubber washer on. And then I'm gonna drop this in. And I want it to come this way. Let's think about this for a minute. Yeah, so if I drop it like this, down and in, this end will come out. There it is. <laughs> All right. Leave everything on. I was hoping to do more of the plumbing on the rain barrel today, but with these cold temperatures, I don't think the glue's gonna stick. So tomorrow it's supposed to be nice and sunny out. We'll save that part for tomorrow. It's nice to see Hope out down there eating at the feeder and she hears us. What are you doing, Hope? We see ya! I don't think she's enjoying these cool temperatures today, but all the goats are doing well. Time for another Hope check-in. See how all the girls are doing. They're all in the barn. Uh, they're all down and low. Where's Hope? Uh, Hope is by herself on the side of the water. Let's see if she's cold. How you girls doing? You like your back room? You wanna go in your back room? Huh? Yeah, you cold. You seem nice and warm. It's a windy day, huh? You going in there? You want to go out? No? All right, we'll leave you in for a little while. Give you some chaff hay, I know. You're spoiled. You are, look right here. No, nope, right there you go. You're spoiled. I'll leave you back here. It might be a little bit warmer back from the wind. What are you doing, Willow? You're looking mighty pregnant. Yeah, you are. I saw Hope was lying over there, probably trying to get out of the wind, and these three were over there. So, put her in the back area, let her stay warm for a little while. We'll let her out later on when Olivia gets home with all the girls. Figaro, are you watching over everybody? 
Huh? You watching over everyone? You are crazy. It is windy, huh? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Crazy cat. Is he gonna follow us? So that's the question. Ah, feels so good. You tired? You got up all in your doll bed? You crazy. You got your winter coat back on. Yeah. Is that cold out? Don't know how. It's not much above freezing today, but we melted a lot of snow. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and it's 38 degrees out. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like that. Does it feel like 28? Yeah. Oh, yep. It's getting muddy. The frost is all coming out of the ground. That should be there though, because then some of the water's. Hey, let's go see Hope. I know, but can you bring that out? No, we're not going to. She might come out. I don't know. We'll go in. It's chilly out here, Hope. Let's stay in the back. She took your seat. I guess so. Uh, she moved for you. She said, I'll let you sit down, and then I'll sit on your lap. Hope. Yes, Sally. Listen to that wind. I'm gonna let you stay in the back right now because it's cold and windy out. It's warmer back here. Yes, it is. I know the other girl, I know the other goats won't cuddle with you. Behave. Behave. We've had a lot of people asking lately about the maple syrup taps. No, we didn't get to make any maple syrup this year. And the trees are starting to bud out, so we can't collect sap now. I'm thinking what happened is we had so much rain here this past fall that our ground was so waterlogged that the ground was too frozen for the tree sap to flow early enough. And now that it's flowing, it's past due. If that makes sense, leave it in the comments down below. That's the only reason I can think of why the maple syrup, maple syrup, that'd be nice if the maple syrup flew out of the trees, but the maple sap wouldn't be flowing. Look at them pretty eggs. I got them sitting there in a nice pile for us. Wonder how many eggs we have in this, these nesting boxes today. One, seven it looks like. Delicious. Like, what am I gonna cook? Now I'm like, this looks delicious. That's how you like. That's kind of like, oh, and now I'm like, Sometimes this simple. looks so good. Simple. Sometimes simple is what you need. And there's a nice surprise outside for you in your garden. Garlic. Center sprouts. 
Time to show this. It's pretty bad. You gotta wear your winter jacket to go out to the garden. Do you see him? It's a one, two. There's one How right there. Pretty? There's a whole bunch of them. There. I saw some here. I don't know how these are doing. We did this bed with garlic. I don't see any coming up yet. It could have been on And we also did this bed. I see one. Right there. Awesome. I hope those pump turn out awesome. Sweet. This is what I'm most excited about, I think. Garlic this year. But when will it be ready? Sooner than everything else? Yeah, it depends. It can be anywhere from spring to fall, is what I read. Mm. Depending on space, depending on the weather. We're gonna have to do another garden bed. I know we're gonna have to do another raised bed because we took up basically two. Mm. One, two. Oh man, we gotta add another garden bed. Oh mm. man. Sometimes I feel a little bit like a helicopter dad <laughs> watching over Hope, but I want to make sure the transition from her into our herd is flawless. They seem to be accepting her a lot more. And I can't wait till the weather breaks so we can let her out more in longer periods of the time. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Embrace your weird. That makes us who we are. We are all weird. I'm weird. And you know what? I love it. That makes us unique, makes us who we are, and it makes us change the world. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.